What is the time response of a critically damped control system to a unit step input? Well, my name is Rishi Ranju. Welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community. Or I'm a easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What is the time response of a critically damped second order control system to a unit step input? Well, what's fine? So, we know for a fact that in the case of a second order control system, the transfer function is given as T of S is equal to C of S divided by R of S, which is the output divided by the input, which is equal to omega n squared divided by S squared plus 2 zeta omega n S plus omega n squared. So this is the transfer function of a second order control system. But here in the case of a critically damped second order control system, here in the case of a critically damped second order control system, the value of zeta is equal to 1. So here the value of zeta is equal to 1. So therefore upon substituting this over here, we would get the value of this transfer function as C of S divided by R of S is equal to omega n squared divided by S squared plus 2 omega n S plus omega n squared. But this is of the form A squared plus 2 AB plus B squared. So this could be written as A plus B the whole squared. So we can write this as S plus omega n the whole squared. Because the expansion of this would be S squared plus 2 omega n S plus omega n squared. When the value of zeta is equal to so now here, in order to find the time response, we are giving a unit step signal as the input. So here, the input R of t is a unit step input u of t, which is equal to 1 for all the values of t greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, R of s is obtained as the Laplace transform of this R of t, which is given as 1 divided by s. So therefore, upon substituting this over here, we will now get the value of C of S as C of S is equal to R of S multiplied by this particular term. But R of S is 1 by S. So therefore, C of S is equal to 1 by S multiplied by omega n squared divided by S plus omega n the whole squared. So now, in order to find the time response of this particular critically damped second order control system, all we have to do is now find the inverse Laplace transform of this particular C of S. So therefore, in order to find the inverse Laplace transform of this particular C of S, we need to use the concept of partial fractions. So therefore, writing the C of S in terms of partial fractions, we will now get C of S is equal to A by S plus, for here we have a by s, but now here we have a square term. So this should be written as b divided by s plus omega n plus c divided by s plus omega n the whole square. So therefore we have now split these into three partial fractions. So now we have to now take the LCM of all these three. So now the simp simple fourth standard mathematics, taking the LCM over here, we would get this is equal to S into S plus omega and the whole square. So now the numerator would now become A into S squared plus 2 omega and S plus omega and squared plus B into S squared plus omega and S plus CS. So now all we have to do is equate these two numerators. So now here, let us equate these two numerators. So now upon equating this, we now know that we'll get three equations. First equation is obtained by equating the coefficients of s squared. Second equation is obtained by equating the coefficients of s. And the last equation is obtained by equating just the constants. So now first let us equate the coefficients of s squared. So on the left hand side over here we know that there is no coefficient of s squared because there is no s squared term here. Here we only have omega n squared. Okay. But in the right hand side the first coefficient of s squared is a. So here we have a. And the second coefficient of s squared is b. So a plus b. And finally, there is no other s squared term. So therefore, a plus b is equal to, here because there is no s squared term, 
a plus b is equal to 0. Let this be taken as equation number 1. And now, next upon equating the s terms, the coefficient of s, here the first coefficient of s is 2 omega n a. So, 2 omega n multiplied by a plus, next we have b into omega n into s. So, here we have b omega n plus finally we have c s. So, this would become c is equal to 0. So, this is equation number 2. And finally, upon equating the constants, here we have a omega n squared. There's no other constant term here. So a into omega n squared is equal to omega n squared. So a into omega n squared is equal to omega n squared. Upon equating the constants on both these sides, let that be taken as equation number 3. So what we now observe is that from equation number 3, we now have the value of a is equal to 1. That is upon cutting both these things, we would get the value of a is equal to 1. So now upon equating this a is equal to 1 over here, we get the value of b is equal to minus 1. So now since we have the value of both a and b, substituting these two in equation number 2, we would get the value of c is equal to minus omega n. So now here we have the value of a, b and c. So let us now substitute these three values in this particular equation. So we now have c of s is equal to 1 by s minus 1 by s plus omega n minus omega n divided by s plus omega n the whole square. So this is what we get upon substituting the values of a, b and c over here. But here we know for a fact that the Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a is given as e raised to minus a t and the Laplace transform of 1 by s squared is given as t. So now using these two properties of Laplace transform, taking the inverse Laplace transform here, we would get c of t is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is simply 1. So this is 1 minus here, this is of the form 1 by s plus a. So here 1 by s plus a is equal to e raised to minus a t. So this would become e raised to minus omega n into t minus. Here it is of the form 1 by s plus a the whole square. So here first the constant omega n and 1 by s plus a the whole square. So here first upon taking the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a, we would get this as e raised to minus omega n into t multiplied by the Laplace transform of 1 by s square is taken as t. So this becomes t over here. This simply is the required time response of a critically damped second order control system to unit step input. Very simple guys, as simple as that. So this thus is simply the time response of a critically damped second order control system to unit step input. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what you refer to as the time response of a critically damped second order control system to unit step input. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.